Hello everyone, it is Rob here from Woodward English. How are you all? I hope you can hear me. Hope everything is fine. Okay, let's see. We've, I've said hello to lots of people already. We've got Kafalila, Glyther, Mooney. We've got Hussein, Susanna. Who else we got there? Uh, Prakash. Hello, Ange. How's it going? Uh, okay, here goes. Right, so how is everyone? Today is one of our... It's the morning here in New Zealand, earlier than normal. Hello, you're from Nigeria. Hello, that's good. Really good. Okay, so it's the morning here. It's early in the morning here. It's nine o'clock on a Sunday morning. I had to do it on a Sunday my time, which is Saturday your time, because I had something else happening in my personal life during Saturday. So here I am. Okay, let's go to... Dum -dum. This is what we're here for today. We're going to have a conversation, a very productive conversation about goals, goals in life. And the, the topic today is, what is one goal you have that you would like to complete before the end of the year? So, ah, so Fadila from Algeria, it's 10 o'clock. Hello from Latvia. This is my, this is, I love this part where everyone starts arriving and saying where they're from and everything. I love this. Lauda from Latvia. Hello. Let me know where you're from, what time it is. You know, we always do this. That gives people the opportunity to come and join in the conversation with us. And they don't miss all of the special things. Okay. You can hear me, can't you? Just double met, just making sure. I have my cup of coffee ready for this. Safek, also from Azerbaijan. I can never pronounce that country. Moni from Brighton. Nice. Okay. So this is, if you want to, just while we're waiting for everyone to come, just remember we have this here. If you just go to the Woodward English website, I'll just copy that and chuck it in there. There it is. And you go to, where is it? English Conversations. And I still haven't changed the picture. I said last time I'd do it. Still haven't. Been busy. And you'll come to this here. Conversation Courses. Or actual English Conversation. We'll go to the last one. Right down here. Boom. Close. And this is what we want. There's lots of things we can talk about, examples of goals, what will you do to achieve your goals, and things like that. So if you want, you can have a look at that, so you know what we're going to talk about a little during the day. But let's go back to this part here. Boom. And I need my version. Excellent. Let's see where everyone's from now. Everyone's caught up. Genesis or Genesis from Chile. What part of Chile? Santiago, Concepcion. Lenita from Brazil. And we've got Vitelli from uh, Brazil, I should say. Remember Brazil in English with a Z. Okay. Um, we've got Anna Asma from Algeria. We've got from Saudi Arabia, Morocco. Mohammed from Kuwait. Hannah from Bratislava in Slovakia. Cool, Sangat. Hey, everyone, good to have you all here. Okay, and as everyone else turns up, I will say hello. How has your weekend been? Andres from Colombia, Hussein from Iraq. How has your weekend been? It's should be Monday, oh, so Monday, Saturday evening for a lot of you, or maybe early Sunday morning. How has your weekend been so far? Iraq, Nicaragua. Hey, Mrs. G, hello. Great to have you along again. Maria from Spain, España. Ana from Egypt. Also, Wanderson from Brazil. Prakash from India. What part of India? India is huge. Oh, Brazil's huge too. Okay, let's move that a little. Okay. I have a question for you. I have a big question. Luis Enrique from Cuba. I'm sure you've been along before, too. Like, I, I start remembering certain names because they, you know, they, they come here frequently, which is like, yeah, and I get to know different people. So, yeah. And, right, let's have a look. Goals. What is 
Do I know, uh, well, we talked about this last time, Fadila. Do you know about Algeria? Um, just very little. I know it's at the north of Africa. <laughs> um, it's good. Saturday evening. Yeah, Saturday evenings are good. It's midnight for Anna. I know, because we changed the time here in New Zealand. We have daylight savings. Okay, let's, I'm going to, I'll just put this in here. Um, wait a sec. Here we go. Hello. We have a thing called daylight savings. You know what daylight savings is? This is twice a year. There are two times a year. We say twice. Where you change your clock one hour forward or one hour back. And last weekend, we changed our clocks one hour back. So I had to do this earlier, the stream, to do it at the same time. Do you have daylight savings in your country? And when is it? When does it happen? Are your louders five minutes into Sunday? Yay! Happy Sunday to you. <laughs> of course I remember you. I remember lots of, of, uh, lots of the names here. And, uh, and lots of special ones too. Uh, Gustavo from Busios. <laughs> good. I thought you were saying goodbye. It's good. Yes. <laughs> uh, hello. It's 12 in the morning. Yeah, it's like pretty much midnight there. Six o'clock. I know. I do it at this time. So a lot of people from South America, Central America, and North America can join in. And I know it's late for many people in, in Europe and the North of Africa or Africa in general. I know it's a little late, but... I can't, I can't do the streams really early, like at 7 o'clock in the morning, sorry. <laughs> I'm just getting to bed at 7 o'clock in the morning sometimes. Hey Kevin, how's it going? Uh, oh, you don't have daylight savings in India? No, no daylight savings in India, so it's the same time all year. It's interesting. Do I teach with a British accent or American? I teach general English. I am from New Zealand. English is my first language. I teach English that you need to use around the world. So a bit of British English and American English in the writing and everything like that. But I wouldn't worry so much about that. You don't have daylight savings in Nicaragua. Interesting. What about in... T okay, Zeynep, what about in Turkey? Do you have daylight savings? It's about 10 a.m. in your country. Which countries have daylight savings? Brazil, does that have it? I know Chile does. Chile has uh, daylight savings. They changed last weekend too, I know, because I have friends there. Gustavo, your accent is super. Super good or super bad? <laughs> Be a bit more specific. <laughs> you like your video? Thank you. So daylight savings, which countries have it? Do you have it in your country? And so in India, you don't have it. Who else doesn't have it? Um, in Nicaragua, they don't have it. I know Chile, they do. Good night, it's too late here. I feel sleep. I'm sorry. I know it's really late for you, Muhammad. That's why I have loads of coffee. It's really early here. Hey, Kevin from Costa Rica. It's dark now. Well, it's, it's, it's light here. Oh, you have daylight savings in the Ukraine. That's good. I'm doing fine, Kevin. Thank you for asking. How about in Anas in Morocco? Do you have daylight savings? Janesh. Sir, can you teach, uh, suggest a structure for teaching English to lower level students? Well, Janesh, that is something uh, my wife and I have been working on the last couple of weeks. That is why this week that has just gone by, we didn't upload a video because we're working on this whole structure and organization and lessons for lower level students. And we're, we're, we're in the process of creating something, something special for everyone. So that is coming. Um, so you have daylight savings in Cuba. Good. How's your day? My day has just begun. Amarnad, it has just begun. I'm still sleepy. I probably have sleep in my eyes too. <laughs> Are you in the UK? Hey, Baskerville, great to have you along again. I wish you do three times during the week this type of live courses. I thought about, we, we thought about it with my wife. We thought about maybe twice a week, sometimes early in the morning or sometimes in afternoon, my time, so that people from other countries, they don't need to be awake at midnight 
Because <laughs> I know I appreciate it. This time works perfectly for me. So I will be doing it in the morning at this time. But sometimes I will do it a little later. So that we can have people at the moment. Many people from India or from Asia. They can't come because it's too early. Very early. Like 4 in the morning. Everybody sleeps because it is night. But not, it's not a problem for you. And Brazil was cancelled by the current president. Really? That's in old Bolsonaro. So he cancelled it. That's fascinating. So there was daylight saving before. Interesting. I didn't know that, Gustavo. Thank you for letting me know. And it's 10 o'clock for Baskerville. Nice to be in your class again. Yes, it's nice to have you here too, Baskerville. Okay. Uh, even two times is fine. Yeah. I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best what? <laughs> I'm the best coach. Okay. <laughs> I'm the best coffee drinker in this part of the universe. <laughs> JJ from Sicily. Me? Uh, Kevin. I'm from New Zealand. It's down the bottom of the world. <laughs> what is daylight savings? So daylight savings. Some countries have daylight savings. I should move over a little bit. So I'm a little bit more in the middle. Daylight savings is when a country puts their time in the entire country back oh, hang on, back one hour or forward one hour. In New Zealand, last weekend, uh, at I think 3 o'clock in the morning, it was daylight saving, so we, everyone changes their clocks back one, back one hour to, instead of 3 o'clock, it is now 2 o'clock. So that way it is darker later at night and more light in the morning. So some countries have this, some countries they don't. Hey, Carmen, someone else from Barcelona. Oh, thank you, Janesh. Um, hello, Rosa, Abel. Okay, teacher, I have questions. I study British English in the school, and if I write an American words in the paragraph, will that be correct? I mean, for me, I don't mind if people uh, write British, not the accent, you know, write in British English or American English. For me, it doesn't make any difference because it is English. Some teachers, for some reason, they're like, no, only British English. Some teachers, only American English. For me, the most important thing is communication, expressing yourself. That is more important. But it depends on all of the teachers. So you have to ask your teacher. That's, that's my point of view. We've got Wilson from Columbia again. Oh, good, Rahib. Okay, let's have a look. I think you were... Th that's very thoughtful, you. Streaming using different time zones in order to have many people participate from all over the world. Yes, that is something that's always... has always worried me. Once I did a live lesson, New Zealand time, at midnight. Because a lot of people here, they're awake at midnight, so I thought, I'm going to do it at midnight. And it went until like 3 o'clock in the morning, I think. <laughs> no problem. I had lots of coffee and I think I had some drinks too. But yeah, it was good. It was good. Just so people have lots of opportunities. Jin from South Korea. See, 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm so glad you could have it. So Gustavo loves daylight savings. Yeah, I like it too. Well, actually, I don't, yeah. I love, I love, yeah. I love winter. I love summer. I like it when there's a lot of light. I like it when it's dark early. I'm happy. Okay, let's begin. In Iraq, you don't have daylight savings. Hmm. Are you doing, Rosa? Ah, oh, okay. It's, six, it's four o'clock. Remember, in English, we don't use the 24-hour clock. So we don't say, for example... Oh, damn, I moved it. Oh, no. Hang on, let's just... Okay, hang on, I've just got to go change my thing. Oh, I hate it when I move it. I thought I'd moved... Oh, no. Okay, hang on, one second. This is where I start stressing again. <laughs> uh, okay. One second. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, changing, changing, no. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll just go to this website a, se a second. Have a look at these goals. I'm just going to turn this one off. And open it up again. And that's going to be my saviour. Okay, so we're going to talk about goals right now. One second. Live. It's going to open up any second now. So, you've seen the topic. One second. It's opening up. 
And here it is. Here it is. Ta-da! Perfect again. Phew. <laughs> okay. So Dominican Republic, 5 o'clock. Algeria, 10 o'clock. In Spain, we do it the last weekend in October and March. In New Zealand, it sort of changes a little. I th I, it was like, this time it was the first week of... Oh, I can't remember. This live chat is two hours or one hour. Sometimes it's, it's usually two hours or so. Uh, in Cuba, it's 3 p.m. Okay, let's have a look. Now, the topic is, what is one goal? I want to know your thoughts. What is one goal you have that you would like... Over there. That you would like to complete before the end of the year. Okay, let me know in the chat. Go! My goal is to learn the German language. Good, Laura. That's good. My goal is to learn the German language or learn German. Okay, I'll show you this. Look at this. Okay, so you say... Uh, you can say, I would like to, or I want to improve. Okay, I would like to, and then... This is what you can put. I would like to, for example, learn English or German. Or, how about this? Look at this. I would like to learn... But this isn't very specific, but let's just... Or learn... The English language. Okay. I mean, you don't really need to say this part here. I would like to learn English. Just say the language. I would like to learn German. I would like to learn French. I would like to learn Italian. I would like to learn Arabic. Okay, but if you do have the word language, you need the the. The article the before it. Okay? So someone says, I would like to learn English. Let's have a look, see what everyone is saying. Um, Sia says, I want to improve my English. I'll be glad if you, uh, if you help me. I will try. Hey, Lorena, how's it going from Argentina? To write better English? Good, Baskerville. I would like to improve my English. Good. My goal is to lose weight. Great one, Asmar. One of my goals is not to improve my English. My goal is to learn all accents. Accents. Be careful with the spelling. But you don't really need to worry about the accents as much. It's a good goal to have. Accents. Be careful with the spelling. Uh, my goal is to keep improving uh, my teaching quality. Oh, improve teaching quality. You're right. You wrote it correctly. My goal is to keep improving uh, teaching quality in my school. That's a brilliant thing to want. That was something that I always wanted when I had a language school in, 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 in Chile. I also always wanted to improve the teaching quality of our teachers and everything like that. I'd like to write English like the English. <laughs> My goal is to get FCE, the first certificate. Good. I'd like to travel around the world before the end of this year. It might be difficult, but it would be good. I'd like to get a lot of money and pay all my debts. I would like, yeah, I'd like to get a lot of money or earn a lot of money or have a lot. Yep, that's great, Susanna. My goal is to improve my English. I would like to speak English fluently. This is my topmost goal. That's a good goal. My goal is to lose weight. I'd like to learn English very well. Sir, what is the difference between English and French? Um, they're both, I know, uh, they're just different languages. Actually, um, English has a lot. They're just different languages. <laughs> English is spoken in England, French is French in France. <laughs> and they're both a little bit difficult. English is more difficult than French, I think. Um, oh, I will get married. Lenita says I will... M okay, look at this one here. So you said I will marry. Okay. Now, what you need to say is... I will get married. Because marry, we always say it's always to get married. I got married in 1864. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. Okay. So you say, I got married in... 
I don't know, 1999 or 2012 or whenever it was, okay? Say so someone says, I would like to get married. My goal is to get an upper intermediate level. I'd like to pass the CAE exam. I'd like to win the lottery. <laughs> that's not a goal, that's like a wish. Ah, and buy the, vac the vacations or vaccinations probably for my country. Okay, that's a good one, Pilly. That's a very generous thing to do. So, mm, I'd like to improve my dressage riding and go back to competition before the end of the year. The The lockdown didn't help much. Yeah, I have a cousin that does does that too. Uh, with the riding. She just accidentally has an accident, unfortunately, just recently. I'd like to learn French li lace. I'd like to learn French. I'd like to learn many languages. I like to speak English fluently. My goal, that was from my, um, I, my goal is that I wish to learn the German language. Good. Ah, glider. Question. What is meaning by A in New Zealand? For example, are you going, you're going shopping at A? That's a good question. I'll write that. It's like saying A, or sometimes, it, this, I don't know how it's written, A. Now, sometimes, at least in New Zealand, uh, for example, um, it's a type of question tag. It's like saying, for example, let me give you one. I've got to think of a sent a question. You're late again. A. Okay. <laughs> okay. Instead of saying, what is the question tag for this one? If said, you're late again, aren't you? Okay, so if we use the simple, uh, the present simple tense here, the question tag is the pre is this one here. You're late again, aren't you? But sometimes, like in New Zealand, and I'm not too sure where else, sometimes we just say a. <laughs> you're late again, a. I don't know how to spell that actually because it's not official English. You're late again, a. You're crazy, eh? We should be. We should do it now, eh? It's like we just say that in New Zealand. That's what I don't really teach that very much because it's just a local thing. I'm not too sure what other countries they do that. But that's a very good question, um, glider. And I hope that explained it. It just means it's like a question tags, like just for yes, yeah, so a question tag basically. Boom. There we go. Um. So. Uh, French. My goal is to get my title, my degree. Zedith, we don't, the title, we don't say title, we say for titulo, you say degree. I get my degree. Okay. Um, so I would like to get uh, my degree. My degree in, in brain surgery, I don't know, whatever. I want to buy a new smart bike for riding the country to help people. That's a lovely thing. That's a lovely thing. Hi, Hamilton. Good to see you. My goal is thinking in English without translating. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a good goal to have. Yes, I hope my cousin gets well better soon. Yeah, she, when she jumped off, she <coughs> broke a leg. Um, Maria, Lenita, Wilson, me too. Greetings. Hello, Zedith. Hello, Maria Lucia. Good to see you. Okay, so goals. A goal is an objective. A goal is an objective. Actually, I'll write, I'll copy this here. It is an objective. Let's see. It is the idea of... Let's see if this fits. Yeah. It is the idea of a future result that you'd like to achieve or obtain. I'd like to learn all the phrasal verbs. Billy, do you know there's at least 20,000 phrasal verbs? <laughs> you need to learn how many a day? A thousand a day? No, 500 a day <laughs> to do it in one year. Possible. Hello, Javier. How's it going? So, for, we also, you know, the, another word for goal? Uh, not another word. Another example of goal is in football, soccer. Goal! That's another one. 
But we're talking about the goal is something you want to achieve or obtain in the future. Okay? And there. Boom. Um, thanks a lot. I hope you will achieve it. Yes, I hope you do achieve it. Now, there are different types of goals. There are different types of goals. There are... We got daily goals. We have oh, what else we got? There it is. We have daily goals. We have what else we got? We got like five. Oops. We have five year goals, and you have life goals. Oops, file. <laughs> <laughs> life goals now daily goals or weekly goals you can change this daily or weekly goals daily every day weekly every week these are short term goals and these ones here are Long-term goals. Here we go. Five years. These are long-term goals. And these are short-term goals. Now look at this. It says five-year goals. Why is there no S? One second. Why is there no S here? Put that over here a bit more. For example, we don't say... Five years goals? No. That is not correct. That one's not correct. But this one is correct. Why is there no S here? Why? Does anyone know why? Hi, Yupu. How's it going? Great to see you here. Good morning. I know you're from New Zealand too. Um... Speaking of degree, is there any difference between diploma and certificate? I'm pretty sure there is. Diploma, oh, well, with the, on the university, for example, at university level, a certificate is shorter than a diploma. It depends on the country. Like a certificate is six months, and a diploma can be one year, and then you can have a degree, degree which is like three years or whatever. So there is a difference, but at high schools or at just general schools for children, sometimes people use diploma or certificate, no real difference at all. But a diploma sounds more important. A diploma sounds more official, like, oh, I didn't get a certificate, I got a diploma. A diploma is normally after a longer... Um, course or a longer time period. Um, what is your goal for my goal for this year, Lauda? Thank you for asking. I'll I'll let you know in just a moment. Oh, Anna, well, you want to be a doctor to help people, help the poor. That is such a good thing. I wish more people were like that. Um, yes, because it is an adjective, Anna. You're right. Because five year. This part here is an adjective, and adjectives never have a plural form. For example, if I say um, one red car, and oops, this one here, two red cars. Okay, cars, there are two. But we never put an ed, uh, an S, two reds cars in some languages? Yes. In English? No. So we don't say that. So the adjectives, the word that describes it, is never singular or plural. It has one form. So two red cars. Five year gold. And it's important to have this, the hyphen in the middle. A five year gold. Okay? For example, you can say, I have a, or she has 
a... I don't know. I don't know. I have... I work an eight hour oops an eight hour day I work an eight hour day what type of day an eight hour day this is an adjective there's no s at the end okay so that's important so I work an eight hour day not true because I work about 20 hours a day <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Um, it's an adjective. It's a comp. Yes, good one. Hello, hello from Sweden. Do you think about releasing an app? Um, yes, I've thought about it, Emanuele, but I cannot do it now because they're incredibly expensive, and I cannot create apps. I need to pay someone to do it. So at the moment. Unfortunately, I cannot. But uh, yes, it is a part of our long-term goals. Our long-term goals for Woodward English is to eventually have an app, an application, that people, a free application. Like all of our classes, all of our lessons and courses are free. Also, our, ap our application will also be free. But I need money to, to do that, so... Eventually, I will. Carmen G, it's like an adjective, a description, so you cannot add the yes as it has no plural form. Perfect, Carmen, you're so right. I'm doing well, Sadie. Um, sheep or sheeps? Oh, that's a <laughs> random question, but I'll explain it. <laughs> sheep, bah. never with an S, because it is the plural of sheep is sheep. That's a very quick one. Goal and target are the same or not? What is a, a synonym for the word goal? A synonym of the word goal is objective. A synonym of the word goal is objective. Target is like the final point. Like when you... They, they, they could be just about... Interchange, for example, in business, you could say, our target for this year is to make a million dollars for whatever. It could be used, but goal is also, it's more, a bit better than target, I personally think. Okay, so we have daily goals, and we have, which are short-term goals, we have five-year goals, we have life goals, okay? And again, short-term goals. Put this hyphen in the middle, okay? When you have these types of compound adjectives, you join those two parts together to show it is one adjective. Short-term, what type of goals? Short-term goals. What type of goals? Long-term goals, okay? So, and goals can be divided into personal goals, family goals, career goals, and everything like that. Okay, let's have a look at some examples of goals. So let's go get rid of some of these. Um, let's get rid of some of these. There we go. So what is one goal? Someone has already mentioned this. I'll put this over here. Boom. Someone mentioned that they would like to get a degree. They would like to finish their studies at school or university. Okay? So I would like to, for example, to, or to get or to finish my degree. A degree. So we don't say title. Okay? We say degree. I would like to get my title. Okay. Let's just do this here. My title. No, we don't say that, okay? Um, yeah. Because a title is like Mr. and Mrs. Or King or Queen. King Rob. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Okay. So we don't say my title. No, it's my degree. So I would like to finish my degree this year. That's one possibility. Target is for the final intention, like the target stake stakeholders of the company. Exactly, Carmen. Very good. I appreciate all of your, your help, Carmen. 
So does anyone here have a goal to finish their degree or sometimes finish school? Like that could be a short goal for this year. It could also be a goal, a long-term goal. I'd like to, like this year, I'd like to finish my degree. Or you could say, I'd like to have or get a degree. I'd like to get a degree, okay? Or to graduate or something like that. That's one possibility. Another, another one that we can have is this. What's happening here? Some people have mentioned it already. Some people have mentioned it already. What is happening here? Is target similar to objective? What is the target? My objective is to learn. Yep, you could say that it is like that. But target is more like, for example, for me, I associate it for archery or shooting and sometimes in business, the target. Yeah. So what are they doing here? Some people have mentioned I would like to learn English. I'd like to learn French, someone said. I'd like to learn Arabic. Remember nationalities always start with a capital letter a big letter so we don't say french like this no it needs to be big letters this is because um this concept came from german yeah i like to get a job it's your own goals it's your own goals i would like to learn french i would like to learn does i like to learn Oops, another, capital letters, another language. I would like to learn another language. Anyone here want to learn another language apart from English? Okay, lots of people here. Hi, Shyam. A lot of people here want to learn English, I think. I'm pretty sure. Does anyone here want to learn another language does anyone here want to learn another language carmen says i like to get a degree in oh and the, uh, the equine psychology like with the horses wow that is a thing i've I'd, i've never met anyone that has done that i'm just like thinking wow fascinating how how, how do people how do then how do people know what horses think or feel fascinating anyway rob sometimes police use the term target to refer to someone in particular when they're investigating a case or something that's another good example thank you mrs g that's a good one i would like to learn greek rosa that's cool i would like to learn greek <gasps> i want to learn so many languages yes jane she would like to learn some what would you like yes what language jane Jane Sloan, Brian, I would like to learn Japanese. Is that for the the the, the anime mag the comics or things like that? <laughs> I know lots of people do it. Teacher mentioned for the things start with a better. Not all things. Nationalities, to, for example, I'll give you some. Yeah, uh, where's an example here? For example, for we use capital language. Um, Capital letters for days, m months, um, countries, languages, uh, nationalities. There we go. And there are some more things, but the main ones that you use most of the time for days, months, languages, and nationalities, you need a capital letter. Okay? For example, you don't say... Uh, Sunday? No. You need to do it with a, a big S. For example, oops. For January, oh, oops, that's not good. <laughs> January, you don't do with a small J. It needs to be a big J. January. This is when you're writing, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, everyone's learning more things. Also, oh, Baskerville wants to learn Japanese too. Natalia would like to learn Turkish. I'd like to learn Italian. That's a good thing. I'm, I'm actually learning some Italian right now. Definitely, I'd like to learn French and Italian. Well, actually, at the moment, I'm currently learning. 
Oh god, it's going to be here all day. Maori, which is the local language. Um, Maori, French, Italian, Arabic. Those are the main ones at the moment that I'm currently learning. Not very well, because <laughs> I'm usually too busy. But my goal, one of my goals this year is to do it better. Teacher, and when you finish university and you want to continue studying, what do you call the next level? Okay, you have different types of degrees. You have the bachelor degree or undergraduate degree, and you have postgraduate degree. So you have undergrad, oops, capital letters, undergraduate degree, and then you have a postgraduate degree. An undergraduate degree is the first level of university. Three years, four years, five years, depends on what you want to study. And then you have the degree of a Bachelor of Science or a Bachelor of whatever. And then, well, in New Zealand it's like that, at least. Um, and then postgraduate around the world is Masters and also PhDs, which are doctorates. Okay? So those, that's what happens after you have your degree. Um, I would like to learn I languages. What do you mean by I languages? <gasps> I'd like to get your driver's license. Driving license. That'd be good, Heba. That's a good thing. Hello from Colombia. And, oops, I've lost everyone. Hello, English online. Um, I don't understand because I speak Spanish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but yeah. Esta clase son para niveles más nivel intermedio. Just so you know. This is for normally um, intermediate level students. And higher. Um, last week it was for lower levels. After I finish studying English, Greek is your target. That's good. You want to pronounce like Americans. Focus on communication. Studying equine uh, behavior and psychology so I could help children with health problems to acknowledge feelings and express them there. Isn't that equine? Isn't that for horses though? I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I'd like to sleep after these lessons. Plural. This is one. These. Plural. I like to speak English as well as you do. I don't speak English very well. <laughs> I speak too quickly sometimes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I just saw something. Thank you, Mrs. G, for that, 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 the, the donation. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that that helps little by little helps it get our goal. Eventually, we'll like to have an application. Eventually. <coughs> um, I'd like to. I'd like to learn English like native people. Oh, some Arabic. Speak some Arabic for us. <gasps> I cannot. I cannot speak. I'm. I'm at the moment. I'm learning to write Arabic, which goes from right to left and the letters and everything i can understand the levers like that's a m that's a d that's like a uh, and that's a i think that's a ba or ta ta ba 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 something like that i can read little bits i don't know what i'm saying though that's my problem very basic arabic it's a pretty new therapy here in spain really i must investigate it Teacher Rob knows Spanish. There are some people here in the group who speak Spanish. I'm one of them. So we can help you. That's very nice of you, Mrs. G. That's very, very nice of you. Jomel wants to improve the English. I'd like to learn Italian. Italiano. I like it, first of all, mainly Italian Spanish language. I speak Russian, but I'd like to learn English. When I use Microsoft Word and I put the days with the first capital letter, the tool shows as an error. That's not right. Days of the week should always be in capital letters. As strange as the word. Maybe there's some problem with your copy of it. <laughs> Hello in Slovakia. Language is A-H. Wow. I can't even pronounce that one. Hello, Muhammad. I like to learn Hebrew. That's nice. I think not in class last week. Oh, you didn't come to that class. It was a great class last week, Baskerville. It was for lower levels and we're doing error analysis. It was great. Hello, Ethid. Thank you again for that donation. I've only just got to it in the chat. <laughs> Abigail. Um, you like Arabic? I am from a an Arabia, Arabic, Arabian country, and I can understand you very well. I love English so much. Good. 
Ah, gra thank you. Aunque esto lo aprendo, pero es muy difícil comprender a alguien. Con yes, it can be difficult, f um, free fire. It is sometimes difficult to understand people, but I'm creating more and more lessons for lower levels. Just, I'm creating more and more lessons for lower levels. That's one of our plans coming up, one of our goals for this year. I love your charisma and the way you teach. I always learn something new. Thank you. Arabic is a very complicated language. Yes, it can be, I think, because it has like 16 pronouns. Wow. Portuguese. You can help with the Arabic language. I'll need some help. <laughs> uh, where am I from? I'm from New Zealand, um, Daira. From El Salvador, and our mother tongue is Spanish. It is. Okay, so that's one. That's another one. What's another goal? Uh, let's get rid of this one. Okay, that's probably a... What about this? What is this person doing here? He's probably designing something. He's learning how to draw or design things. Or maybe this person here. What is this person doing? This person... What's this person, this kid learning to do? I would like to learn... Something, oops, smooth thing. I'd like to learn. <laughs> it's the morning, sorry. I'd like to learn something new. Is there something new that you would like to learn that is not a language? For example, this person is learning how to, I'd like to learn how to knit, how to drive. How to whatever. For example, this person is how to knit. Okay? So this here, you have knitting needles. This kid is learning how to knit. I don't know how to knit, unfortunately. <coughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Ah, here it is. Capital letter for the days of the week, months of the year, nationalities, languages. Teacher, waiting for you new videos. Yes, last week I didn't have a new video because we're designing some really cool things. Your friend speaks Arabic. Cool. Thank you, Lisi. Hello. Okay, and we've got um, drawing. He's trying to draw. He's probably trying to invent something. <laughs> it's knitting. You love knitting, Rosa. Really? That's good. So he is knitting. Remember, if you write it with ing, it's with two d's. Does anyone near here know how to 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 knit? Um, Mrs. G says I recommend you listening activities. Start from easy conversations. Okay, Mrs. G, that is something that we are in the process of creating. But shh, don't tell anyone. Ah, no, you can tell anyone. We are in the process of creating listening activities for basic levels. Little reading texts where you listen, where you can read, and different activities as YouTube lessons. So that is something that we're creating right now. So maybe in about two or three weeks, we might have the first one. We will see, okay? And some are like intermediate levels, but some, mo many, will be for basic levels. So that people can get accustomed to listening, because I understand it is sometimes difficult. So that's a very good thing you said, Mrs. G. Hello, greetings from Brazil. Thank you, Luis. Knitting, knitting. Yes, I do want to learn the German language, and you can advise me if any teacher doing the same. You do on live, please. Um, I don't know. I don't know who's does live German lessons. There'll probably be many. Hello, I'm from Brazil. I'm happy to be here and I want I would like I would like to improve my English. Oh, that was the name. I'd like to learn your language. English for me is so beautiful. Yeah. I find some other languages more beautiful. I am knitting right now, for example, while I'm watching your class. That's cool. <laughs> That's so cool, Rosa. What are, what are you knitting? Are you knitting a scarf? A sweat, a jumper, sweater. What are you knitting? Socks. What are you knitting? Um, 
You're a student there. I've got cool ones too. If you're a if you are a member of of the YouTube channel, you get cool ones like this one. These types of emotes. Yeah. Anna, to fix or make new things with the needle and the thread. Wow. Or you can just say knit. <laughs> that one's easier. I'd like to learn how to design my own clothes. That's a good thing, Billy. That's a really good thing. Um, I would like to learn how to design my own clothes. My grandmother taught me knitting, but I don't have much patience. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't know. However, I can... No, don't worry, Mrs. G. However, I can't wait to have access to those listening videos. They're coming. They're definitely coming. <laughs> yeah. I was only joking about don't telling anyone. I was only joking. Yeah, I'm knitting a scarf. And after, I will start with some mittens. Ooh, you know what mittens are. Okay, people, this is a good thing. Okay, Rosa. Mentions about this. What is the difference between gloves and mittens? What is the difference between gloves and mittens? They're both things that you put on your hand when you are cold in winter. But what is the difference between gloves and mittens? Anyone know the difference? Please, can someone help me with English class? Yep, this is what we're here for, Danae. Ah, that's great. Free fire. Subscribe to the channel. So click the button somewhere down there, down there. Subscribe and you will receive and click the bell, of course, and you will receive notifications when I create the listening activities for you. The shape, Gustavo says the shape. Mitten has no fingers. Very good, Baskerville. When a glove has fingers. A mitten has one for the thumb and one that covers the entire part, okay? A mitten is a glove that looks like this and you move your hand like this and glove when you can move your fingers. That's the difference. Gloves cover fingers, mittens cover all of the fingers at once. Very good. I think gloves cover the fingers, only half of them. Exactly, you guys, you're, you're good. Yes, gloves used in the kitchen. In the kitchen you use like, they're like a type of mitten because it's like one big covering. Yeah, that's, that's interesting because those are called oven gloves, but they're not gloves. It's interesting, fascinating. It's fascinating, it's fascinating. Anyway, cover the whole hand, gloves, no, yeah, gloves and mittens cover the whole hands. And gloves have the individual fingers and the mittens only cover the hands. Well, yeah, mittens is like just one whole section. I don't have a picture here right now. Okay, is anyone going to learn or wants to learn something new? Let me know. Yeah, mittens are used in the kitchen, exactly. They're special ones so you don't burn your hands. Does anyone here want to learn something new this year, before the end of this year? Me? What do I want to learn? I want to learn so many things. Actually, I want to learn more about Dungeons and Dragons. Random thing. I want to learn more about Dungeons and Dragons so I can be a dungeon master. Yeah, that's something weird I will share with you. <laughs> okay, what's another one that we have here? This one here. Boom. Who would like to visit? I'd like to visit a new country or a new city. I'd like to visit a country or a city I've not been to. Now, this is going to be difficult under the current situations, situation around the world. I'd like to visit another city. You can visit a city in your country, I hope, that you've never been to before. That could be good. Me teacher, how to write correctly in the paragraph. That's for another lesson, Anna. That's a game, but I prefer Blade and Sold instead. Yeah. 
I like I want to be a dungeon master. Okay. I'd like to visit before the end of the year. I'd like to visit Fiji. I don't know if it's going to be possible. But that's something I would like to do. It would be nice. My goal is reading more psycholinguistics. Wow, that's a good thing. But how to have a specific goal. I'd like to read 10 books. Ah. I'd like to visit Machu Picchu. Oh, I wanted to, I definitely want to. That's on my bucket list. That is one of my life goals, Billy. To visit Machu Picchu. That is one of my life goals. It's not going to happen in the next year or maybe next five years. But definitely, I want to do that. I'd like to visit Cusco at the end of the year. Oh, someone else wants to go visit the same area. So from Cusco, you go up to Machu Picchu. You have to go to Cusco first. What is the difference between neither and either? I have a video about that, Anna. Check the video. You'd like to visit the United States? I'd like to sound like a native. Yeah, that's a good thing. But Daniel, I just I recommend just learning to communicate. Don't people worry a lot about sounding like a native speaker? I wouldn't worry so much. Most important thing is a na um, communications. For example, when I speak, oh, hang on, I just someone was blocked. When I speak Spanish, I don't sound like a native speaker. Cuando yo hablo en español, no sueno como nativo. I don't sound like a native speaker, but I can communicate. I can express myself. And that is more important. Okay? Being able to express yourself and communicate in a language. So don't worry about if you don't sound like a native speaker. I mean, it helps. Yes. Communication is the most important thing. Um, I'd like to visit California, especially San Francisco. That's good. Why would you like to visit that, JJ? You're from Peru, but I haven't gone or been there yet. I haven't been there yet. That's good. I'd like to visit New Zealand. Great country. You might have to wait, though. At the moment, no one is allowed to enter. I oh, would like to visit the Salada de Uni in Bolivia. Those are the salt. You got the salt. The salt. Was it lake? I don't know what it is. Salt flats. Those are impressive. That's a good thing to visit, Sophie. And that's in the south of Bolivia from memory. I know these things. I'd like to visit my girlfriend. Oh, that's a good thing to want to have. I hope. <laughs> Your Spanish sounds very good. Thank you, Susana. But I, I don't sound like a native speaker. But you understand. I hope. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings was filmed here. Exactly. Okay, Samad. Okay, we're just going to put you on time out just for a second. Thank you, Samad. You don't need to <laughs> do that all the time. Um, I would like to change a country. You'd like to go to another country. Which country would you like to go to, Alenita? Where would you like to go? Let us know. Okay, what is another one? Okay, now some people have this planned. Someone mentioned it. I would like to... Okay, what is happening here? What is happening here? Okay, it is small for a reason. What is this person doing? The person on the left is on their knee and what are they doing? What are they doing? I'd like to visit Norway. <gasps> oh, I'd like to visit Lulea in Sweden. The great thing about communication is that many accents for the same one word. It's all about enriching languages. Exactly, Carmen. Exactly. Proposing. Good one, Miguel. He's proposing. He's asking for marriage. We can say, this is the, the, the verb is to propose. It is when you someone gets on their knee, it could be a man or a woman, and they say, do you want to spend the rest of your life suffering with me? <laughs> no, they say, will you marry me? <laughs> do you want to suffer the rest of your life <laughs> by marrying me? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so what is it? Uh, ask here is making a propose. It's proposing, making a proposal. So to propose is the verb, and this is a marriage proposal. There it is. To propose, exactly, asking to get married. You'd like to visit Australia. It's full of spiders and things that want to eat you. I'd like to visit Madrid, Gaga. He asked her hand. Hand in marriage. <laughs> married proposal is the subject. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you would say, yes, I would like to suffer. Yes, I would like to suffer. <laughs> okay, so when someone proposes, what happens next? The next thing is, I would like to get married. Okay, which is this one here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so first you have the proposal, and then they get married. Now, I have something for you. I don't know if you remember, we talked about this once. What is the name of this person at a wedding? And what is the name of this person at a wedding? What is the name of a woman at a wedding? The person getting married. And what is the name of the man who is getting married? What is that? Um, proposal. He's asking, would you like to watch my <laughs> basketball? He says, that, that's very sexist. <laughs> He's asking, would you like to watch my clothes cook for me for the rest of your life? Oh, that's terrible, basketball. <laughs> and, and she says, hell no, you're doing it. <laughs> I'm Mirta. How's it going? I'm from Colombia. You'd like to visit England. That's good. <clears throat> no, the next is you get married. <laughs> <laughs> you get married. The fiancé, the bride. Exactly. She is the bride, and he is the groom. Sometimes you have two brides, sometimes two grooms. Doesn't matter. But if it's a woman, it's a bride. And if it's a man, it's a groom. You have a bride and groom. Okay? So they are at a wedding. That ceremony is called a wedding and she is the bride and he is the groom okay and then what happens the next thing that happens of course is this <laughs> i'm sorry i couldn't resist <laughs> this is the next stage <laughs> the zombie stage no it's not that's what married women do not all of them I'd like to live in... Lenita would like to live in Finland. Interesting. Why would you like to live in Finland? Hello, Savink. My fiancé's name is Andrew. Very good, Gaga. So, was it you or someone else mentioned? Ah, so your fiancé means he has already proposed to you. Okay, he's already proposed. Hey, Samad, if it's going to happen again, one more time, you'll get the time out. <laughs> Okay. Um, so what do we got here? Uh, my fiance. He cheats. <laughs> I know Andrew. I saw Andrew with another person. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, you get older. Yes, you get older. Hello, Gabby. How's it going? So these are the stages. Ha, <laughs> And then you live happily ever after, don't you? When do we get divorced? No, you need to work on the relationship. You need to... <laughs> okay. So, no, sometimes this is the next stage. Oh, look at this. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll see you in a moment then, basketball. Hello, Ebda. Hello. Are you from Argentina, Gabby? Argentina. Okay, so sometimes sometimes this is the next stage. Sometimes it happens before, and sometimes you're not married. It doesn't matter. But what is this here? <laughs> what is the stage? What is the stage? Only in fairy tales. No, it can happen in real life. 
Sometimes if you find the right person, Antonia, if you find the right person. Uh, ah, Zeming, you're from, from there. You're very happy. I'm always very happy. No, actually it's the coffee. I have too much coffee in the morning. So it appears that I'm happy. <laughs> I'm actually very sleepy. I'm like very, very sleepy. <laughs> the coffee makes me hyperactive. She is pregnant. Exactly. She is pregnant, actually. She is pregnant, okay? Maybe I need to change the height of that. I'll put it here. Here we go. So she is pregnant. So some people, their goal may be from now to the end of the year is to have children. That's another possibility. And they might like eventually have, oh, look at this, isn't that cute? And then they have a family, happy family, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> Next. What's another goal that people can have? Another goal is this. What's, what is this person doing? What is this person doing? Have a good appetite. <laughs> what for? The appetite for food, I hope. Become parents. Magda, that's good. So someone, someone's goal might be to have children or to become parents. Some people have that, that goal. Some people don't want to have children. <clears throat> and Carmen, nice to have, see and listen to you again. I have to leave chat, but thank you again for everything. Best regards to you all. Thank you, Carmen, for dropping by. I know not everyone can be here the whole time because it's late, especially in Europe. But thank you for dropping by, Carmen. Um, what else we got there? I would like to be a bride forever. <laughs> Always have a white dress. You had to change it sometime, though. It's the second child. Yes, the other one appeared. I'm in a good mood today. I'm always in a good mood. No, no, no I'm not always in a good mood. When I have lots of coffee. <laughs> when it's the weekend. But when uh, waking up in the morning sometimes is difficult. What is the noun? Pregnancy is the noun. We can say, so the noun is pregnancy. Oops, nope, that's not pregnancy. Pregnancy. There it is. We can say, her pregnancy went very well. That's a good one. Her pregnancy went very well. Yeah. What? I would like to get married to two wives at the same time? I don't recommend it. One is enough. Trust me. <laughs> Have try with one first. <laughs> I would like to get married, uh, get a job. Yes, he's looking for a job. He's looking for a job. He's not getting pregnant. <laughs> he's looking for, I'd like to get a job. I'd like to get a job. This is another goal someone might have from now until the end of the year. I'd like to get a job. <clears throat> You're an English teacher, Savink, and you love this language. That's great. He's reading. He's looking for it. Yeah, Vitaly's got it. Wilson's got it. Antonia, he's retiring. First, he, needs a, he wants a job. He's reading the newspaper. Yes, he is reading a newspaper, because sometimes jobs are a newspaper, old school. Nowadays, you can find jobs online, but, you know, this is a, you got an old telephone. He's an old person. He's an old person. So he's got an old telephone, and he uses a newspaper to look for jobs. Uh, looking for a job or a house? It says jobs here. You can't see it, probably. He's checking his bills after he's married. <laughs> we need to try Brazilian coffee. Um, at the moment, uh, I'm not too sure where this coffee is from. I'm not too sure where. I like Brazilian coffee. I like Colombian coffee. I like all. I like coffee in general. <laughs> He's looking for another wife in the newspaper. You don't look for wives in newspapers. Andrew works as a mining a mining engineer. A mining engineer. Change the order there. Oh, Noé. Hello, Noé. You said you would come and you are here. It's good to have you here. I'd like to lose weight. That's another one we're going to talk about in a moment, about losing weight. He's reading the newspaper. Your cup is very big. Yeah, it is. It's the size of my head just about. 
I need lots of coffee in the morning. So he would like to get a job. So you can say, I would like to get a job. Anyone here? Is there anyone here looking for a job? Let me know. Would you like to have a job from here until the end of the year? Let me know if that is one of your goals for this year. Or if you are already successful, you might say, I'd like to be to be successful. Just remember, one L at the end. <clears throat> Job isn't an objective. It's just a means to earning money, which could be used to achieve other goals. It's exactly. But first of all, yep, you do need to, the goal is to have a job. Sometimes, sometimes the job could be a volunteer thing where you're not getting paid. Though they could work at a charity organization or being a volunteer. That's another thing. I have a good job at the moment. That's good, Noe. I'd like to retire in five years, Antonia. That's good. That's a good thing. And what would you, and what would you, Antonia, when you were, when you were retire in five years, what would you like to do with your time? What would you like to do with your time, Antonia? I'd like to be successful. I'd like to be successful in my job, in my career. He's waiting for an important, <laughs> well, like he's waiting for the phone to ring. Exactly. Thank you, Gabby. How do you say to start a new career? I'd like to start exactly what you put. I'd like to start a new career. That's one thing. Or another thing that you can do is, how about this one? I'd like to start my own business. Ah, oh, how about this one? So we get rid of that one. Uh, how about this? He's thinking of his own business, but this one's a good one. She has her own business. Does anyone here want to start their own business? Let me know in the chat. Go now. Do you want to have your own business? And if you want to start your own business, what area? What would your business be about? Let me know. <clears throat> um, I want to start a new career. I want to be a psychologist. Carrier, we say career. Remember, C-A-R-E-E-R. -E -E I need to write it. Yeah. Could you repeat how to... Okay. I will repeat it. It is... <clears throat> Here it is. Remember, just one L. Successful. 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 There we go. Um, I'm unemployed right now. Gaga, what would you like to work in? What would you like to do? Would you like to find a job? And what would your job be? Or would you like to start your own business? <clears throat> Antonia, yes. Own your own psychology office online. That sounds like a good plan, Antonia. You like to have your own psychology office online. That's good. Unfortunately, no. I'm an, I'm an employee. We say, oops, where is it? I'm an employee. Okay. Now, look at this one. <clears throat> Employer is the person that gives the job. I am a boss. I am an employer. An employee is a person that works for someone. I am an employee because I work for some other person. Okay? And I receive a pay at the end of the week or month. Okay? Does anyone want to start their own business? Yes, I want to start a new career. Which career, Gabby? Which career? No one wants to start a new business. This is interesting. Interesting that no one here wants to start a new business. Or am I wrong? Let me know. I want to start so many things, but... 
Anyway, I'd be interested to know. Who wants to start a new business or start their own thing? I mean, you don't need to have a physical store now or a physical shop or a building. You don't need that nowadays. You can start many businesses online, on the internet. Internet is amazing. There are so many things you can do. Yeah. Okay, what's another one? Is, how about, we're talking about that. How about this? How about being an expert at something? Okay? You could be an expert at something. Like being the number one. Why do you have 75 people? I don't know. Sometimes I don't know <laughs> why people want to listen to me. <laughs> I have 75 people because there are people from all over the world that like to learn English. A lot of people don't say anything. Sometimes they just listen. Because sometimes they, they, they don't have the confidence. They don't have the, <clears throat> the confidence sometimes to use, to type in the chat or anything like that. Okay? But yeah... Sometimes there is more, sometimes there are less. It depends on the day. <clears throat> so, he is one. Yep. Are you... Okay, so you use different things. I use the... Werewolf wo Interactive... Ah, the Woodward Interactive Games in my distant classes. Uh, Baboozel and Learning Apps. What other interactive intellectual games can you recommend me? <clears throat> um, I will think about it. I will think about it. Because I have not taught in a classroom for like, whew, maybe five years, many years. I gotta, I need to think about that. I should actually create a video about that too. I would like to start, you like to be an entrepreneur, mud. Interesting. What area? What would you like to do? I'm studying English courses to work in tourism. Tourism's not the best thing at the moment around the world, but it's good that you are starting now to improve your English and to perfect your English so that you can work in that area. Hi, Jose. <clears throat> so, yes, interactive. There, there are many. I need to investigate that more, and I need to write about it. Okay. So... You can be an expert. How about this? Uh, this here. What do you think this is? This is really hard. Hi, Rob. And what time do you start? Samuel? I started like one hour, 20 minutes ago, I think. <laughs> it depends. Depends on the week. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, oh, you might need to click live. You need to click live. Um, click the live button. Boom. There it is. He's a winner. Are oh, you back again, Baskerville? Now, this is a good one. I would like to have... Look at this one. Uh, where did I write it? I would like to have a healthy... Okay, I'll just write it like this. Work, life, balance. Boom. I'll move it over. I like to have a healthy work-life balance. I would like to have a healthy work-life balance. This is a good one. This is a good one to... This is a good goal to have. Because... Many people, they work and work and work and work, and they don't have time for their family or their kids or life in general. And one day, they work too much, and then suddenly they die. And what was the purpose? Seriously, you need to balance your life. There was one stage in my life, my, my wife and myself and my wife, we were working from 8 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. That was our day when we had... A language institute in in Chile. We were working from 8 o'clock or earlier. Sometimes 7 o'clock in the morning. 
but in general, 8 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. And our, our work-life balance wasn't very good. We were just working all day. But at the same time, we decided, no, when our children were born, we needed to change the way we were working and living. And we did make that change, fortunately. But it's, it's especially when you have children, it's very important to have a healthy work-life balance. It's a very important thing to have. <clears throat> Um, I hope I didn't miss any, something important. Baskerville, I just gave you the secret to learning English in five minutes. Just kidding. <laughs> it was a great thing. <laughs> um, I need a break. I'm better at speaking, not at writing, Gabby. Yeah, I speak Spanish, but I like English. That's good. He's planning in his time, scheduled time for play, work, and exercise. Exactly, Miguel. <laughs> Rob, do you live chat every day? No, I don't. I do it once a week. At the moment, I do a live lesson once a week for the public. And, one second, let me find it. And this one here. And for members... I do it also. For members of the channel, I do it sometimes on Tuesdays or when Tuesdays or Mondays. I do a live lesson exclusively for members. And something that I plan to do exclusively for members is to connect so we can talk as in speaking. At the moment this is just chat. At the moment it is chat. But something that I plan to create with members of the channel, it's not ready yet, but it's going to happen soon, have a live conversation, chat with members of the channel. So that is something that I plan to do. So I think I had quite healthy worth like, that's good, Baskerville. Your speaking is very clear to me. That's good. I try. <clears throat> He's imagining some ideas. That is, that's true, Rahib. I like to be older at the end of the year. You might need to work on it a bit more. I, I believe in you. I think you can do it, Dulio. I think you can do it. Try. I believe in you. I think you can be older by the end of the year. If that's your goal, I believe in you. <laughs> <clears throat> Having a healthy work-life balance is very important. That should be one of your goals. Because sometimes people are like this. This is a treadmill. They just keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going. That's a treadmill. She is running on the treadmill. It's like you just get up, go to work, come home, have something to eat, go to sleep, wake up, go to work. That is not life. You're on the treadmill you are on the treadmill or on a treadmill okay and that's not something that you want there's so many more important things i'd like to be younger at the end of the year that's my intention too <laughs> when i got to a certain age i started going backwards seriously hey hello om hamori uh, my goal is to become an American citizen. How do you do that? You have to live in the country for X number of years, and I don't know how many years you need to do that. So talking about a healthy work-life balance, something else that you need is something like this. How about this one? Someone has mentioned, I would like to be... To improve, I like to <coughs> improve, excuse me, <coughs> here it goes, I would like to improve my health, this could be another possibility. That's good, right, please, could you tell us when the premium classes started? Um, it's not premium, it's they're just starting 
when someone is a YouTube, what do they call him, a YouTube channel member, I always send private in the community section. There is a in the, there is a section where I leave messages and put charts and photos and things like that, and I let people know when I do these. But it's going to happen very soon. Um, what's the difference between mistake and error? Same thing. Hi, the world of movies. Like a hamster in the wheel, Miguel. That's very good. That's a very good example. A hamster in the wheel, just going round and round, but not getting anywhere. That's a very good one, Miguel Mendoza. It becomes a routine, which is boring. Exactly, Billy. <clears throat> Eat healthily. Eat healthily and, make, and do exercise. You do exercise. Do versus make. I have a whole lesson on that. It's not easy, so don't worry. They're doing exercises. Hi, Marcia. How's it going? I would like to do exercises. Put an S at the end, because it's, otherwise it's just one exercise. <laughs> you want to do more than one. So I would like to improve my health. So if your goal is to improve your physical health, what will you do to achieve this goal? What will you do to achieve this goal? Hi, Suso. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. What are you going to do to achieve this goal? I would like to reach my first 1,000 books in Amazon. Are you a writer? Mohammed, are you a writer? Or sell my first 1,000 books? Or read 1,000 books? Let me know. So how can you achieve this goal? You can eat healthily. Good, Noam. Hello, Yasmin. Hi, Kifa. How can you do this? For example, it can be something simple. Like you can walk every day for 30 minutes or half an hour. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> You can join a gym. That's another possibility. You can do some exercises. You can cycle. You can go jogging. You can go on the treadmill, which we talked about the treadmill already. Also sleep well. That's a good point, Miguel. One way to improve your health is to sleep well. To sleep. Something I don't do much. <laughs> I would like to manage my time for tasks. I like to... To, to go on a diet. I would like to go... Okay, I don't want to go on a diet. <laughs> Be so, oh, wrong one. <clears throat> to go on a diet. That's another possibility. You go on a diet. Avoid stress. That's a good thing. Avoid stress, Fadila. It's hard. Because sometimes you have situations that cause stress. What you need to do is not to become stressed, which is very difficult. I don't know the secret to that. <clears throat> Hi, Kalem. Um, do exercises. I'd like to eat less. You like to eat less. More than eat less, it is to eat more healthily. You can eat kilograms of fruit if you want. Eating good food. Is that the first lesson? No, we've done many lessons like this. Kiefer. I like to speak English fluently. You have come to the right place. This is your opportunity to use English. You can go on a diet. You can do some routines on YouTube. There are different people that do Sumba classes or, or exercise routines. You can do that. <clears throat> you can drink more water. How many languages do you learn right now? Me, Laura? I'm probably learning about 10 languages in total. Eat more fruit instead of things. Eat more salads. Rob, I'm a student. I study at Sanwell College. I want to change my writing. How can I write well? Um, writing. That's the best thing. The best way to do something, to learn something, is doing. Simple as that. You want to know how to speak? Start speaking. Want to learn how to write? Write. Okay? That's my advice for now. Because um, there's no like, like real secret recipe to doing things like that. 
to avoid sugar, to eat less bread and potatoes, the carbohydrates. Very good, Gaga. That's very good. What's another one? But this is physical. But this here is physical health. I would like to improve my physical health. Something else that is also important is this. Your mental health. Okay? So you have your mental health. I would like to improve my mental health. This is something. Exactly. I would like to do meditation. So in a way, that's a very good thing. Um, uh, what's a prerna? Is to do meditation. Hi, Musarat. Yes, louder. I'm learning 10 languages. I can't speak 10 languages. <laughs> learning. To do sport, I would like to improve my knowledge. How to be more successful in study. How to stop wasting time. Yeah, there are a lot of distractors. That's, that's a good question. That's a very, how to be successful in studying. I need to create a video about that. Yasmin, when this video finishes, can you put that comment in the YouTube, in the, in the video? Or put it in a comment on any video of mine. How to be more successful in study and how to stop wasting time. Because in the chat, I will not remember. So leave a comment, I will see it, and I have time to put it somewhere else. Yes, I'm a designer of content books on Amazon. That's good, Muhammad. I'd like to give me some, please. I'd like to stop my bad habits. Ooh, that's a good thing. That's a good objective to have. Is it Javier? Javier and this. That's a good thing to. to what what bad habits do you have? <laughs> Should I say? Should I ask? You need people. You need to, especially nowadays, with people in lockdown have very little contact with people. How can you improve your mental health? Does anyone know? We've got some psychologists here <laughs> in the chat, I know. How can we improve our mental health? How can we do that? It's not an area that I know about. What is another goal that people can have before the, the end of the year? Hello, Ultagan. How can I read words, two or three words? I would like to be less angry. Nina, that's a good thing. And that comes on to the next topic. Like being kind. Or empathetic. To be empathetic. Or just being kind in general. I, I'm... I'm that's a very good thing that you mentioned there, Nina. I would like to be less angry because, yeah, that's not a good thing. Learn to be kinder and empathetic. That can be a good goal. Actually, it's a very good goal. It's a very... Communicate with others. Reading books, yes. You can l learn some of these things about your mental health by reading books. There are a lot of... They're called self... Help books. Some are good, some are not. It's difficult to know which ones. To improve my mental health, I should sleep more than six hours every night. Yes, more than six hours. It's a very good thing. Being positive, that's a good thing. To communicate with others, you can improve your health. Yes, that's a good thing. Helping others, that's a really good. That's a good goal to have. More people need to do this. To try and help others. Maybe even if it's something like like this, like you know, giving out doing charity work. Helping others that are less fortunate, like being a volunteer. I've got some free oranges. You're helping people, that's a great thing. Or maybe you can help someone moving house. Something simple like that. Okay? These are different ways that you can help others. Helping others, that's really good. I like to help other people. That's great, Prerna. That's very good. I can improve my mental health when I listen to some music. Kalem, that is true. Music is good. I, lo I, I love, I, yeah, I listen to so much music. All day. 
all day. When I'm creating YouTube lessons, when I'm creating videos, creating charts, creating whatever, all day I have music. I just you got YouTube there in the background, creating playlists. Uh, I'd like to avoid thinking of unfairness in the world, Javiera. That is, that's a very good point, Javiera. Like improving your, now let's go back to, I can show, where is it? Uh, mental health, there it is. For example, yeah, they're practicing yoga, they could be. Thinking about unfair, that's a, that's a difficult thing. For example, something that I stopped doing a long, many years ago, is I stopped watching the news on TV. Because most of the time, the news is tragic. The news is terrible. So many bad things happening around the world. And that can be very frustrating. Because I would like to help, but I can't do anything in some situations. So something I stopped doing a long time ago, when I was in another country, is I stopped watching the news, because the news is just like, oh, terrible, tragic, horrible, bad things all the time. What I noticed when I returned to New Zealand, here in New Zealand, the news, okay, it has some bad things, but they always add positive stories, especially at the end. So you do not, so you do not finish the news with terrible, tragic things. They give positive news about things that happen around the, new, the world. And that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Um, getting free oranges. Yasmin, this happens here in New Zealand. You will see people putting things on the street. In my city, which is a big city of one and a half million people. In small cities. You see people like... when I, The first thing I observed here in New Zealand. Well, one of the first things in the first days. Someone put a washing machine on the street. It was working. It says, yes, it works. Because obviously the person, they were changing the washing machine and they put it on the street so another person can take it. It's, I mean, and that's a nice, generous thing to do. That's a wonderful thing to do. I mean, yes, yeah, some people sell them. But I mean, this type of small thing helps the world be a better place. Listening to classical music. My favorite composer is Tchaikovsky. Just so you know. Um, I think I'm mad anyway. <laughs> Telling jokes? Yes. That's true, Lauda. Many times you will come across people that are not very kind. You always come across people that are negative, that are not kind, and you cannot avoid them. You just have to learn to live or not let things affect you. And that can be think thinking optimistically. Positive attitude in the world. I think there are loads now, basketball. There are a lot of people suffering from mental health. I remember a number of years ago, I also suffered from this too. And it's a struggle. It's difficult. And unfortunately, the bad news sells more than the good news. That is true, Miguel. It is so true. Bad news sells more than good news, unfortunately. Javier, I'd like to live in New Zealand. A lot of people would. I like to pay off my debts. Okay, this is a good one. Look at this. Talking about money and being debt free. Look at this. So we've got self health books, debt. Have no debt. I would like to pay off my debts. Or. I would like to be, oops, to be debt free. Okay. To pay off my debts or to be debt free. That's another, that's a good one. Thanks a lot for this interesting topic, Rob. I'm going to sleep before <laughs> like I come very tired. I know the change of the time, the daylight saving can do that. Good night, beautiful people. Thank you so much for dropping by, Susanna. I hope you sleep well and everything. And ho I hope to see you again next time. Always great when you can come along. So Savink says, I would like to pay off my debts. That's a good thing that you mentioned. That's very good and kind thing to do. I think more should do this kind of thing. I know. I like to travel to some region regions. Samuel, you'd like to play football. 
professionally or just play football in general? Ooh, Gaga. So that's your favorite composer. Tchaikovsky, too. Oh, you spell it like that. That's interesting. Interesting, the spelling. In English, it's T-C-H something, something, something. <laughs> Glad most English people quite nice and kind, especially the older generation. Mm. Yeah, because when you're older, you realize you, you should nice, be nice. Here it's 5.30. Yeah, I know. Some people, Javier, like Susana, she's in Spain from memory, in Barcelona. So yeah, and it's like midnight or one o'clock in the morning there. Laura, thank you for this lesson. I have to go sleep. I'm really sleepy now. Also, Laura, <laughs> good night. I know it's... I did it earlier, especially just to try and have you here for more time. I like that everyone comes back to normal again. That's a good thing. The next... Uh, Fadila, the next lessons are usually on the weekend. Every week. Every weekend, normally. You'd like to go to Perth, Australia. That's on the west of Australia, Eric. There's nothing there. Just kidding. <laughs> Lots of people prefer Sydney or Melbourne or Brisbane. Brisbane, And it's close because it's closer to New Zealand. Ah. <laughs> I like to buy a motorcycle, says Lucas, and explore around in my free time. That's a good goal. I like to know some things about your country before I visit you. I will do a topic one day. It's called. It's going to be called New Zealand. I need to prepare it with photos and everything. We'll talk about... We'll talk about that one day, about New Zealand. So Gustavo in Rio, it's early. That's good. In Tunisia, it's almost midnight. So some people want to be debt-free. That's another good objective. Your cousin lives in Perth. That probably explains why. The bad news is wrong. It does not use S in adjectives. Exactly. Bad news. <laughs> no, bad news is... No, it's not that. I'd like to get rid of... Corona, yeah, that'd be a good thing. I don't know how we can do it as individuals. I don't know. I don't know how we can do it. But yeah. So this is another objective. Someone mentioned this one here, like maybe writing a book. Does anyone here? I would like to write a book. Does anyone have this goal? I'm just curious. Does anyone have this goal? I'd like to spend the rest of the pandemic on an exotic island. New Zealand's island. It's not exotic, though. <laughs> Fiji, Tonga, Samoa. They don't have any cases there. You can go there. No, you can't go there, actually, right now. I'd like to tell you that I'm from India. Good, you just told me. I'd like to be proficient in English. That's a good goal. Does anyone here want to write a book? Someone mentioned this before. Now we're talking about it. Does anyone here, would they like to write a book? I'm curious. Let me know. What's another thing we can do? Anyone here? Yes, I would like to. Hi, Aaron. Buena. Interesting. Okay, so Fadila. And Mbauna, sorry if I don't pronounce your, your name correctly. What would you like to write a book about? You say you'd like to write a book. What would you like to write a book about? Let me know. I would like to write a, write a book. When I was 14, I started writing a book. I haven't finished yet. Like... 40 years later, 30-something <laughs> years later. Um, yes. I was. I started writing a, a fantasy book because I like that stuff. But more than that, I was creating a world. First, I was creating a world and characters. I even designed a map for my, for my world. Javier says, I'd like to, but I feel like writing a book can be a little overwhelming. I won't be able to do it this year. Don't worry, it can be a life goal. You just need to think of a topic. I would like to ask you to teach always. Yes, I plan to teach always. Live videos once a week or twice a week. I would like to find a handsome lover. What's more important, I would like to find a lover that treats me well. 
that I have a good relationship with. That's more important. How can I improve my English? Yes, man. Use it. That's how you can improve English. Use it. Speak it as much as possible. Write it as much as possible. Listen as much as possible. But the best way is using it. That is the best way. I'd like to write a book about children. Fadila, about children or for children? Two different things. I'd like to learn English, but I failed my English test. Well, I'm sorry about that, Mike. What areas did you have difficulty in, in your test? Let me know. <laughs> I'm an amazing teacher. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to write recipe book. That's a good one. Recipes like my grandmother's recipes or my mother's recipes or my recipes or recipes from your country or from your city. Those are good types of books. I bought a recipe book last month. It's got lots of cool pictures. It's like recipe. Was it Chilean? Chilean recipes. <gasps> so good. I'd like to go to the U US. You like to go to the United States? It's Giganti. Good. I'd like to write a book about my childhood. Interesting, Gaga. I'd like to write a book about my life. That's good basketball. I failed the test with spelling. Okay. Can you explain the correct pronunciation of studying? <clears throat> Where is it? The correct pronunciation is studying. Okay, studying. It's like studying. It's like ying ing. Studying. 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 That's how you do it. A book about childhood. Okay, so like to help parents understand childhood, maybe? <clears throat> Javier says, I like to be less shallow and superficial and appreciate people not for their physical appearance. That is a perfect thing. The older you get, the more, I hope, you people learn this about not being less shallow, less superficial. Because when you're younger, people put a lot of importance in appearances. But eventually, you may be beautiful, handsome, or attractive, but that is not forever. And then you get to a certain age, and it's suddenly like, ooh. You sort of like learn. It's not the most important thing. Some people learn more earlier. I would like to communicate with a typical English speaker. Here we are. I'd like to read a book about the World War. Which one? First War or Second? Or both? I'm waiting for you to explain us, please, as soon as, as long as, as much as, please, please. Okay, I will eventually, but it's not going to be soon. I usually, I always give preference to the, the channel members. I always, they got recommendations. I try and do that. She's signing a book. Exactly. I don't know what the, there's no name on the book. I like to write a book about visiting new places. That's a good one, Chaganti. Like a travel book, a travel guide, or your experiences. A book about loneliness and childhood. Great one, Fadila. That's a great one. Great topic. How about what's something else that you can do? Be an expert in something. We've talked about, ooh, being kind, being kind to the planet. I think we've covered a lot of the topics. We've covered a lot of the topics. Um, I haven't shown you this one. Being kind to the planet. <laughs> I'd like to, this is, plant a tree, that's another one. Has anyone here planted a tree? Just curious. Um, we should uh, build our knowledge as much as we can. Yes, definitely basketball. I'm almost 50 years old. I'm almost 50 years old. And I'm still learning, I'm still learning new languages. I'm learning about so many different things. You are never too old to learn. Age is a number. You can always learn. Always. 
the moment you stop learning you start dying basically hmm um oops a book about uh, i'd like to write some english words yes yeah, you build our knowledge you're so positive and very sweet yeah that's I'm, I'm i am me i don't know how i am <laughs> i'd like to yes yeah, but in general i'm i'm positive i'm i'm positive about what i can do what i can achieve and and inside of me just about being kind to the world and the planet that is that's a goal for me one of my okay one of my someone asked me this before what is one of my goals one of my long term goals is to help as many people as possible to learn english for free that is my main objective in this life is to help millions and millions of people learn english for free that is my big goal that i want to achieve and i'm slowly getting there but that is my great ambition because many people don't have the money to learn english in courses or they don't have the time they don't have or they're in a small town where there's no english teacher that is my one of my big goals in life to help millions of people learn english for free that is my big objective um <clears throat> Let's go up the top. Uh, I would like to pay my debt off in my country. Okay, when I become <laughs> when I <laughs> of Nigeria, when you become president. Well, if you are the president, let me know and invite me there, and I will go. I'd like to write a book about my high school life. Interesting. Everyone likes to write about their childhoods. Javier says I'd like to cut down on meat. That can be a positive thing. It'd be difficult for me to do. I am a meaty. I'm a carnivore. I love my barbecues. I love my asados. <laughs> I love my barbecues. Um, be kind to animals. Kind to animals is important. Yes. I look 40. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I would like to read about... I would like to see the end of the, of the pandemic. That would be good, Lenita. I'd like to write a book about my favorite novels. Your favorite heroes. I look 40. <laughs> I would like to write a book about how people come in your life and just change it from top to the bottom. That will be a great topic for life. It's ups and downs. That's a good topic. Let me know when you write it. Let me know when it's ready. It could be in one, two, three years. Leave me a comment. Let me know. And say, remember this lesson that we did? I wrote the book and I'll read it. Samuel says, I have free time. I like to have, oops, I just, a lot of money. Money doesn't solve everything, but it does help. Um, I, I try my best to build my knowledge. When I was younger, I was working for a company that, uh, ooh, that, ref oh, that reforested burnt areas. That's good. Uh, for a moment, I thought the company burned forests. I'm like, no. But that's a good thing. It's like working in charity and, and those types of things. That's a wonderful thing. Am I married or single? I'm married. I'm happily married. I would like to save the trees. That's a good thing. I like to get paid as much as I expect. How much do you expect? Tony. I'd like to write a book about dreams, premonitions. Ah, I don't know if that's the right spelling. Premonitions? Yes. The other one? Not too sure. It's 4.20. I would like to write a book about how people come in your life and change. <laughs> You're doing it again. Okay. Uh, my ambition is also teach my students for free. That's good. So I'm teaching them. I'd like to achieve my goal. I got to go, folks. Nice to meet you, teacher. Good night. Good night, um, Dine. Thank you. Or Dine. Thank you for dropping by. We're going to finish in another five minutes. So we're going to start saying goodbye soon because it's late. I write, I read every day. This is what Noe says. And I cannot understand all the words in English. You're not supposed to know all of the words. Don't worry. But when there is a word you don't know, that's what you look for. Investigate. What does it mean? And then don't just look for it in a dictionary. Write an example of that word. It will help you remember. Um, you like to write a book about your life memories? I like to travel to France and live there with my brother and speak English without mistakes. 
If you want to travel to France, you probably need French though. <laughs> Hello, Kasim from Morocco. I'd like to do a TED Talk, Mutha. That's interesting. Tell me, what is your TED Talk going to be about? Let me know. I'd like to create a new job. Okay. When is your next live stream? Okay, Tulio. This is what I'm going to put in here. Okay, it is every weekend, either Friday for you or Saturday for you. Yeah, so I'll just copy that and I will put it here. Boom. I let everyone know when my next live session is first, subscribe down there somewhere. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and that will let you know when I am live or when there is a new video. That's the first way. Next, follow us on Twitter, especially on Twitter, on Instagram and everything, but especially Twitter. Follow on Twitter and I let you know when the next um, video is appearing or the next live session. That is the, that's the best way, okay? Um, Noe, can you recommend me a good book? Uh, Swan. Marco Swan. I forget what it's called. Something to do with English. Oh god, I've forgotten what it is. It's a good one. Really good one. I'll remember it next time. I'd like to overcome my fear of speaking in public, Javier. Okay. Dear teacher, please write the exact time of your class. It changes. It's like this time, but next week. But it might be one day before. Sometimes I do it on a Saturday, sometimes on a Sunday or Friday. But I'll let you know, because I don't know at the moment. Because it depends what happens in my real life. Sometimes I have activities like a, a, a kid's birthday party or a football match or something like that. So, that's why. Dear teacher, um, I'd like to plant new trees and witness the revitalization of Amazon. That would be beautiful, Nanita. Next Saturday, Gaga. I'm not too sure if it's going to be your time Friday or Saturday. I still don't know. I will see. I will see. I love your charts. You could make a grammar charts book. Yes, I could, Miguel, but I still need to create more charts to make it a good book. It's That is like could be an objective or goal I have. But first, I want to create an application, an app. Hello, teacher. How's your life? I'm Hasifa from Indonesia. Finally, I can join your online class. Well, we're about to go. I'm sorry, Hasifa. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you for coming along. It, I know it's very early for you, Hasifa. Thanks a million for your time. I enjoy your explanations. Yes, we're going to leave now. So I'm going to start saying goodbye to everyone. Thanks a million for your time. Yeah, we spent two hours today. I enjoy your explanations. I must leave. Have a good day, evening, night, morning, Wilson. It was Friday night for me. Suddenly became Saturday. Yes, I changed it because I had something happening on Saturday morning for me. Can I make a video about that eventually? Good night, Yasmin. Yeah. Uh, Raju, when I was young, I would like to study English. You can keep studying English. Ismael, I'm learning English now. I watch your videos. It's very good. Thank you, Ismael. Thank you, Tulio. Thank you for the good lesson, Vitali. Thank you, Vitali. Okay, is it better to use books or audiobooks? Actually, audiobooks are a really good way to learn English. That's a really good way. Both books have a book. And listen to the audiobook. That's a great thing. So bye, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you, Basketball. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, everyone. Remember, where is it? Down there. Click the, subscri uh, the subscribe button and the notification bell. That's the important part. And if you like what I do and you want another live lesson during the week, become a member of the channel. I do a live lesson only for the channel members. Click the join button down there somewhere. Click the join button. And I do another live lesson exclusively for channel members. Okay. So everyone, that's the one. Have an awesome day, JJ. Thank you, Basketball. Uh, Mutha, I'm from New Zealand. I will see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And have an awesome week next week. And see, you know, what goals you have. You've subscribed. That's good. 
Thank you. And also, when you are a channel member, you get all of these cool emojis, just so you know, that you can use in the chat. You can use those. And you get a little thing next to your name too. So until next time, thank you so much for watching and joining in and participating. Thank you, Mrs. G Classroom, so much for the donation. It really appreciated. And until next time, all I can say is uh, I'll be in the chat just for a moment more, just for a little bit more. But until next time, have an awesome day.